Good looking environments look coherent and realistic. One way to do that is to make materials in Blender blend together naturally. So this new Blender add-on called Permablend might be useful for just that. So how does it do it? And how does it work? You see, traditionally getting materials from different objects, I mean to blend them, might involve manually painting a mask, wrestling with shader nodes, or using some workarounds like ambient occlusion and passes, which are all quite time-consuming and technical. But this new add-on skips all that. Simply because using it, you don't have to manually paint or mess around with node groups, since the add-on auto-generates the transition for you. I mean, it can save you a lot of time, simply because you can achieve complex blended materials without much effort. If anything, you can experiment with different looks quickly, see the results in real time, and fine-tune the blend until it feels just right. Once installed, you will find the Permablend panel in Blender's sidebar that basically gives you a quick setup for material blending. You select the object that you want to blend, hit create a Permablend, and voila, the add-on handles the rest. Of course, you still have lots of control. For example, you can tweak the blend distance in addition to fall off, and choose from multiple blend styles to get that look that you want. There is a basic non-style for smooth gradient mix, and a noise option that adds a bit of variation for a more natural feel, and everything updates live. So as you slide those values or switch styles, you see the result instantly in the viewport. It doesn't matter if you're using EV for quick previews or cycles for final renders, because the add-on supports both. And by the way, before I forget, the interface also includes handy buttons to apply the blend or remove it, and even visual toggles to preview the blend mask. The add-on has some interesting features too. For example, it will dynamically update the material mix as object moves closer or farther apart, which can feel almost magical when you see it happening live. It's also optimized to be lightweight, meaning you can use it in large detailed scenes without worrying about major slowdowns. It just quietly does its job in the background. So who's this add-on for? Actually, anyone who wants nicer materials in their scenes, but it is especially useful for environment artists or if you want to build large environments and scenes. So if you are crafting a landscape, or maybe dungeons, or any scene where different materials meet, Permablend helps everything merge together in a realistic way. And honestly, I think procedural texture artists and shader enthusiasts will appreciate that they can integrate this tool into their setups, especially for more complex material facts without any fuss. But even if you're not a technical wizard, don't worry about that. Concept artists who hit past scenes in Blender can use it too, because the add-on will help you quickly unify the look of your models, and even animators and VFX artists might find this useful too. If not for close-ups, you can use it for background shots. So the add-on can handle that for you dynamically, which is just awesome. So if you're interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.